Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kristen and this is a place where we just hang out and also make interesting nails together. Today we're making a set inspired by Doodle Bear. I'm super excited to show you the process and how cute they turned out. I was inspired by these cute little bear charms and I also learned some really fun facts about the history of Doodle Bear that I'm going to be sharing with you. On top of that, I'll also be using these 10XL sculpted nails from Enail Couture Canada, and it's my first time using them. And if any of that sounds like a good time to you, take a moment to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So first up, I'm going to take a moment to prep these 10XL square nails and make them into press-ons for myself. And to do that, I need to do like a peel off base coat method. And I've tried a few over the last year or so, and the best that works for me is rubbing some oil into my nails, cuticle oil into my nails like I just did. And yeah, just taking an older top coat that I don't use anymore and just like putting it on the oily nail. You can see it doesn't really want to stick, but just keep at it and do that to all the nails. After curing the top coat on my oily nails, I am taking this bubblegum gel from Enail Couture, which I love. I love this product. I don't know any other products that would be a dupe for it. It's the best thing I've come across in terms of attaching gel cover nails like this. And I'm touching it because you actually can touch it. It's hypoallergenic, hema free, so you can touch it with your bare hands if you need to. So, and I'm pretty sensitive. Like my fingers do get allergies and stuff pretty easily. So the fact that I am able to touch this stuff and it doesn't like break me out or anything is pretty cool. Y'all have probably seen me do this before. I definitely did it in my Krampus nail set video. So I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but it's an amazing method. So we're going to repeat ourselves. And when it comes to the length of these nails, it's funny because when I'm working on nails, I'm always like, these aren't that long. These are totally fine. But then like when I take photos of them and things like that, or look back on this video, I'm just like, whoa, those look, <laughs> those look crazy long. <laughs> but I don't know, IRL, I think I'm just getting really, really used to having super long nails. And I love it. I love the look of it. I love how extreme it is. I love how much um, nail estate you have for making art and things like that. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the long nails. I'm also kind of hesitantly becoming a big fan of the products from Enail Couture Canada. Like they kind of have some of the best nail tips and some of the most like innovative nail products that I see coming out. Like I see them come out with stuff and then I see other brands replicate it. So I think he's very like the owner I'm referring to is very like ahead of his time in a lot of ways, but he also has kind of like this, I don't know, I have mixed feelings and I'm not really sure how I feel about the brand as a whole yet, but I am very impressed by the products. Okay, I really need to focus my thoughts and talk about Doodle Bear because I have a few things I want to go over and it's not a very long video. I was initially inspired by the nail charm that I showed you in the beginning of the video. It brought me right back to my childhood, which was the original Doodle Bear, which came out in 1995. We'll go over the history a little bit later. But I was super inspired by the colors, the textures, just like the look of the fabric, I think, more than anything else. So here we have our pastel base down. Technically, Doodle Bears only came in four colors, but I doubled up on the blue. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to come at me for that. And I'm using this sponge that I kind of cut up from my kitchen sponge because the original Doodle Bear kind of has this acid washed denim quality to it. And I felt like the best way to get that effect would be to do like a spongy pattern on top. So I basically took every original color and just added white to it and then took that mixed color and did this sponged effect. And I think it worked perfectly for what I was trying to do. Okay, first up, who invented Doodle Bear? So Doodle Bear was invented by Ed Kaplan of Ed Kaplan and Associates. Ed's no longer with us, but his two sons, Stephen and Douglas, have taken over the company, and I read an interview with those two sons, and that's where I got a lot of my information for today's video, and I will link that article in the description if you're interested in learning a bit more as well. 
I'm just quickly going to mention that I'm recreating the stitching. Like the stitching is inspired by the doodle bear. That's probably self-explanatory, but that is what I'm doing. So how did our buddy Ed come up with this really adorable idea? Well, it turns out he was inspired by another toy called an autographed, uh, not autographed, autograph hound. I have a hard time saying that for some reason. Anyway, it was a toy dog <laughs> that you would take to like birthday parties or graduations or any kind of event and have your friends sign it. And then when you take the autograph hound home, you can preserve the memory of that event. That's the idea. So Ed and his associates took that idea and were like, hey, what if this was a bear? <laughs> so they made a bear prototype. And one day, one of the ladies in the office was messing around with it with some washable markers, and she was just doodling on it. And she ended up taking the prototype home. Her daughter really took to it. The daughter basically just started drawing and coloring it in right away also. And before bringing the prototype back to work, she put it in the washing machine and was pretty surprised that it came out completely clean. And that was the Doodle Bear light bulb moment. And that's a pretty cute story, right? Like, I love an invention with a humble backstory. <laughs> From there, Ed Kaplan and Associates, they finished the prototyping and they made a deal with Tyco. Tyco launched the Doodle Bear in 1995. They had this amazing commercial. It featured a jingle parody of The Wanderer by Dion. And I think the commercial probably appealed to both children and adults. And, you know, as an adult now, who was a child when this was released, I still remembered that song, like without looking it up or anything, like I still remember the Doodle Bear <laughs> song. So I think it had like a pretty huge cultural impact. I really freaking wish I could play the commercial jingle for us. And even like maybe the original song and like compare them, but you just can't do that stuff on YouTube, you know? Copyright stuff? can be a real bitch, <laughs> but I am going to use the jingle on my Instagram, so we'll see how that goes. After I finished doing all this, I guess kind of like abstract, stitching, whatever, um, I decided that maybe it would look better if I shaded them so that it looked more like a, a 3D fabric kind of thing. I don't know, I felt like they looked kind of flat at this point, and Doodle Bear ain't flat, you know? <laughs> he is definitely a 3D thing. So I thought, let's shade this, make the stitches look more like stitches. Maybe it'll even make it look more like fabric. Was it a good move? I don't know. I, I think so, but I don't know. I don't know. You can let me know if you have an opinion either way. I'm wondering if they would have looked good without the shading too, but we will never know. I'm probably never going to do this again. <laughs> So Doodle Bear was pretty much a smash hit. Tyco made $50 million the first year that they were producing it. And two years later, in 1997, the toy company Mattel, they actually bought out Tyco and took over production of Doodle Bear. They added more versions and actually tripled the sales to $150 million from 1997 to the year 2000. It was considered a huge success, and then they took it off the market. I guess with toys, they're like, yay, it was successful. They do a run, and then like you stop and you move on kind of thing. I just need to pivot back to the nails for a moment. So we're moving on to the next step, which is going to be the doodling. And initially, I really wanted to use this acrylic paint pen. I thought, I'm going to show it here in a second, I thought that I could maybe use this to draw on the doodles and then maybe go over it with like a, a jelly color or something, but it just, it really didn't work out and it wasn't giving the effect I wanted. And I ended up using just these jelly colors. I have this whole collection from McCart of jelly polishes and using these and just these alone to draw the doodles on actually gave a really similar effect to how markers look on the Doodle Bear fabric. So this was the clear winner on how I was going to proceed. And I think it worked out perfect for the effect. And so from here on, I'm just gonna, 
I'm not going to make you watch all of the doodles that I do, but <laughs> all of the doodles that I do, <laughs> um, but I am going to show some of them. All right, so Mattel stopped making the Doodle Bear in 2000, and then later in 2005, the Doodle Bear had a new contract with a company called Play Along. Play Along gave it a whole new look, including what they call friendlier eyes, new colors, special editions, including things like the Doodle Bunny and the Doodle Baby. <laughs> Between 2005 and 2009, Doodle Bear made $250 million in sales worldwide. So this play along company did bang in sales for like almost five years, but closing in on the end of those five years, the sales started to decline. And so they ended their contract and another company came in and got a contract with Doodle Bear. And this time it's 2010 and Fisher Price is doing it. Fisher Price also gave the bear a new look and they ran it for about three years, I think, but I guess the company itself wasn't doing very good, so the sales also weren't doing very good, and they ended their contract after just three years. So the final contract, <laughs> or bring what brings us to today, is a company in 2019 called Tomi. They were very passionate when meeting with Ed Kaplan and Associates, and they did a contract with them. They redesigned the bear again, and they also released a 25th anniversary edition in the year 2020. As far as I know, Tomi is still producing and distributing doodle bears at this time. Ugh, that's a lot of stuff. Law history doodle bear. Here's how the nails are looking. I just wanted to show you a close up of all the doodles, how I've been going so far. Pretty cute, I think. I'm going to show a bit more. I mean, I think I do kind of overdo it on some of the nails, but what else is new <laughs> when it comes to my stuff? So anyway, I'm going to keep doodling for a bit, um, but I still have a couple more things to talk about anyway. Out of all the variants and styles of Doodle Bear over the years, obviously I have a fondness for the original because that's the one that I had when I was a kid. But, you know, realistically looking at the designs over the years, Tomi, the brand that has it now, I actually think they did both the best design and one of the worst designs for Doodle Bear. Um, one is super cute, really huggable, um, really precious and fun. I would love it. If I had kids, I would give that to them. And then they have this other one that looks insane. <laughs> this bear looks kind of terrifying to me, like no. <laughs> and then when you mark on it, she looks even crazier. It's so funny. But yeah, I just wanted to show that picture because I thought it was so funny. I would love to hear from you. Did you have a doodle bear when you were a kid? Do you have kids who have doodle bears? Like, please, like, give me the details <laughs> down below. I would love to know. Once I'm done doodling, I'm taking the next step and I'm adding some metal charms and I have... They're like diamonds and crowns and things. I don't know if Doodle Bear had like accessories that you could put on like this, but whatever. <laughs> I'm doing it again. I love to go overboard. So, oh, and I also wanted to mention I'm using this glue gel that my friend sent me and it's from this company called A. Galore & Co. And I like it so much more than the McCart glue. Oh my God. It's so easy to come out of the container and it's like, thick enough, you know, it holds everything. So yay, I think I'm a convert. I love that glue gel so much. I'm doing a top coat now. I'm using the To Be Glam top coat because I'm all out of my favorite tickled pink one. I really need to buy more. But anyway, I'm going to try to throw in a few more Doodle Bear facts before we wrap up the video. So something that I was kind of wondering while looking into this was what other toys have this Ed Kaplan and Associates company come up with? Like, did they have any other like big things <laughs> in their library collection repertoire? <laughs> and it turns out they did the puppy surprise. And that's still a thing. Like I still saw it on Walmart and Oh my god, the puppy surprise face is so weird, right? Like, 
I don't really know why this is so popular, except like when you get the puppy surprise, it's like you don't know how many little puppies <laughs> are in its belly, I guess. So it's a surprise whether you get like three or four or five little baby puppies. Like, okay, never mind. I can see how that would be appealing to kids. That sounds cute as fuck, actually. But, you know, I thought they would have made the face cuter over the years, but it's still the same creepy face today. <laughs> And lastly, when they were asked why they think the Doodle Bear has continued to be popular over so many generations, the sons, uh, Doug and Steve, said that it's the combination of something that you doodle and something that you can cuddle that makes it so special. Isn't that so sweet? We're ending on a sweet note. <laughs> How cute. Okay, I'm creeping in with the finished set. Please tell me your thoughts and what you think about it. I think it's really cute and it turned out the way I would have hoped. I think it looks a little bit more chaotic <laughs> than I expected, but I mean, what else is new with my art at this point? And I'm definitely getting Doodle Bear vibes, so this is certainly a win <laughs> in my books. And if you like this video and had fun hanging out with me, I mean, I had a blast. <laughs> I'm hoping you did too. Yeah, take a moment, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more, and buy me a coffee, toss me a couple of bucks if you want to, and yeah, I'll upload another video in about two weeks. Sorry, things have been bi-weekly lately, but it is what it is. So yeah, join me here on YouTube, and please give me a follow on Instagram as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Okay, <laughs> see you in the next one. Bye.